Hello brothers at sea. Today's video is the part 2 of things we normally ignored on board. Others may agree, others may not. But anyhow, let us all together learn these things as we might never see them the way we see them before after we watch this video. This thing really looks familiar, right? However, do you know what this is for? Probably a lot of you will say yes. If you don't, then finish the video and you will learn something amazing about this thing. Let us learn a bit of its secrets. This curvy thing here is something a lot of us really ignore and let the duty oilers do the thing here. For those who don't know what this is, this thing is called a seal pot. Seal pots may also be designed like small water drums where you will fill them with water. Some have even lids on it to prevent dirt from falling on them. What is a seal pot on board? Seal pots on board are curved pipes or drum like installations most commonly found on water basins and most importantly on exhaust pipes. They are normally filled with water and should always be and must be checked at regular intervals what is this for a lot of us say that this one is used to be a drain line for our exhaust pipes especially during rains and cold weathers a lot of us will also say that this one is used to seal the smoke preventing it from coming into the engine room both of these are correct but these are just the tip of the iceberg of why it is there there are still more to this than what we actually know. Let us break down some of the seal pots found in a ship and I will explain why they are there. Not all seal pots are intended for exhaust gas pipings only. They can also be found on diesel oil service tank vents, to oil mist box vents, and lube oil tank vents. Although not all ships have this, some others have. Why is it so? Seal pots, first and foremost, are installed for preventing any kind of mist, water, moisture, or foreign materials to cross other pipes which they must not be into. Let us take this for example. The most popular place where you can find a seal pot is on an exhaust pipe to funnel. This seal pot serves as a visual indicator if water is accumulating in the exhaust pipes due to rain or cold weather due to rain because there are times that the droplets of water are coming in from the stern of the ship. So to prevent water from coming into our main engine exhaust manifold and generator exhaust pipelines, seal pots are designed to be placed where water will be immediately drained to it. As water is continually drained here in the seal pot, water level will rise and you, as a member of the engine family, must check this seal pot from time to time. If you do, you will notice immediately this condition and be able to notify chief engineer and the bridge to do something about this to prevent a greater trouble. The second purpose of this is that it serves as a reservoir where rust, soot, and other solids settle down in the seal pot. This prevents unwanted solids to flow back or pass through other pipes as they may cause serious damage or clogging. The second most popular place where you can find seal pots are from pipes going to oil mist box. Seal pots are placed here because we know that when oil is heated, it also evaporates but a lot slower compared to water. This evaporated oil is called an oil mist and this mist rises to atmosphere. As this mist approaches near the funnels, the temperature around this area is a lot lower than from where it came from, which gives it a tendency to condense back into liquid. So to prevent too much oil in the mist box, some makers install seal pots around here to drain as much mists and condensates to build separated oil tank as possible. The rarest place where you may 
or sometimes you may not, find a seal pot is on DO service tank vent line. This seal pot, unlike others, is normally located beside the tank itself. The purpose holds the same as the exhaust gas seal pots, but it is worth mentioning to raise each one's awareness that seal pots do exist on this tank in some cases. The last place where you may find a seal pot is at the water basins. Yes, you heard it right. This is a seal pot. However, unlike other seal pots, this one is sealed. The reason for this is that most water basins are directly connected to bilge wells. We take good care of bilge wells, preventing any unnecessary dirt or mess, especially those oily stuff so that we will not experience trouble when pumping out bilges through separators. This seal pot serves as a reservoir where it allows water to drop first before the oil, provided that the incoming flow is tolerable. Otherwise, it will push all through and a new seal is filled. Secondly, it serves as an ineffective filter that temporarily holds these foreign materials, preventing them to drop directly. It is ineffective because if you pour in enormous flow of liquid, it pushes these matters and goes with it as it drains. Now that you know where to find these seal pots, and how do they work? Now is the time to know how to maintain them. Unlike all other machineries, seal pots does not require intensive maintenance. All they need is a periodic cleaning. Accumulated rusts, soots, and other solids may clog them and may cause improper sealing. Replacing them with clean water periodically will also prevent the seal pot itself to rust. Replacement of water is also necessary because it may also cause scaling on the pipe surfaces which may cause corrosion and clogging. Keeping its insides to be clean will allow us to easily see for any unusual stuff drop into them. It is not necessary to fill them up too much. Around two-thirds or three-fourths of its capacity will be good enough. Because if you fill in too much, you won't be able to notice any rise on its level. Isn't it impressive? What we know on board is only a small fraction of what seal pots actually do for our pipelines and machineries. We always just pass by them without knowing that these non-running, less maintenance seal pots are very important. We always take them for granted knowing that it is just a small matter and filling it up with water will do the work. I hope that after watching this video, you may never look at these seal pots the same way you did before and may you give them the attention that they deserve. I do hope that you learned a lot in this episode. More videos to come and make sure to watch them all. Thank you so much for watching and keep safe everyone.